New mythical fighter unlocked, philosopher Hamza Shemaev. It's like he's a whole different person. And he talked about many different things. So he talked about his depression that he had. He said, now it's all gone. I'm glad to hear that for him. He went through a lot with the sicknesses. And he talked about like moving to different countries. And he has a family. His son had to go through surgery. He had to go through training camp as well. And he couldn't fight and all this sort of stuff. Prayers for him and his family. I hope the best health for them. Man, I don't want to see either of these guys lose. I like both of them, man, but it's a fight. It's competition. One of them has to win. And same with Robert Whitaker, man. Like, they're going out there with the, the same kind of motivation, trying to get money and provide for their family. I mean, he was even asked about Alex Pereira and how he would do against them. And it was very different than what he used to tweet about, right? He used to tweet like he would run through Alex and it's an easy fight and all this sort of stuff. But he got asked about it again. And he's like, I'm realistic. I know he can knock me out. He's very good in the striking, but I think my wrestling style will be tough for him. He's talking like a veteran, like a humble, down-to-earth, wise veteran. And not just that, one of the journalists, I don't know if Whitaker said what the journalist claimed that he said, but one of the journalists told Hamza that Whitaker is going to destroy Hamza in front of his own people. And the journalist asked Hamza, how does he feel about that? And all Hamza said was, Salam Aleikum, which is translated to peace be upon you, right? It's a greeting word in Arabic. Pretty much showing respect to Whitaker, even though the journalists are trying to paint Whitaker like he says something disrespectful. He had a statement a few days back that he, uh, he wants to demolish you in front of uh, your audience here in Abu Dhabi. What is your response? Mm -hmm. I never heard Whitaker talk like that, but Hamza still showed him respect. You guys can let me know in the comments, did Whitaker actually say that in the way the journalist depicted how he said it? I'm going to demolish you in front of your in front of your people. I've never heard Whitaker talk like that. And if he is, that's a very different kind of Whitaker. It's like Hamza and Whitaker traded personalities or something. The old Hamza probably would have been very different, right? It's a good progression, a good maturity that we're seeing here out of Hamza, not only as a person, but even as an athlete, he talked about how his entire training camp has changed. And the one word he constantly was using was the word professional. He's now a professional. He's bringing in doctors, pharmacologists, world-class trainers and wrestling. He's bringing professional boxers, high-level wrestlers in his training camp. And he said before he was like a street fighter, just training in gyms. He had that sort of mentality. And you can actually see it now that he mentions it. You can see that he had that kind of mentality approaching his fights. Whereas now he's a lot more intelligent and professional with his evolution in the sport. How has camp been with your new team? I have my old coaches still there, my coaches, and uh, always will be my coaches. But just on the training camp, and we try the new things, and uh, we train with the like guys who train the people 16 years, you know. So with professional wrestlers, with professional boxers, and uh, I have my doctor around me, I have my dietist around me, and uh, the guy who. who Checking my supplements, everything, you know. I never had so much team around me, you know, so it would be a different Hamza. My camp was perfect, never could be the equipment. So we've been in the mountains, been training, and never been in the. I've been always in the city and just a normal gym to train, you know. So, like now, I was in the Olympic Central, and they has everything there doctors, everything, they're checking around and checking your body. And, all the things you need for the Olympic athletes, you know, so they use it for me, and I'm great shape. You have a new nutritionist in this camp, Matteo, who is one of the best in the business, and you mentioned that you did not have the guys who helped you in the, before in the previous camps. How is it for you to, to cut weight for in this camp? How, how easy was it? It's much easier, but before, he would chest eight kilos one day, you know, so, but here now, 
we had a professional and checking my weight and everything, my shoe. As like I said before, I've never been so good, good people around me, good team around me. But even though Hamza's got a lot calmer, he didn't lose his confidence, right? When the journalist asked him, if you can't take Robert Whitaker down and you have to strike with him, do you think you could beat him in a stand-up, essentially? And Hamza said, who stopped my takedowns? Well, actually, Ikram Aliskarov did, but that was a long time ago. No one besides many years ago when he fought Ikram, no other fighter has defended all of Hamza's takedowns. And I don't think Robert Whitaker will either. I think Whitaker will get taken to the ground in the first round. It just depends if he's able to survive and scramble back up to his feet like he did against those guys like Yuel Romero and Jacques Ray Souza. It's going to be a very high-level fight. And say Rob does be able to stop the takedowns early, do you think you would also hold the advantage if you if the fight stayed striking and you could knock him out on the feet? Who did stop my takedowns? No one. No one did. So I don't think so. This guy will be different. So if Kamar Usman is a being a great champ and he took down everyone, but I took him down, I dominate him in the, in the rounds and easy. And uh, what's gonna be different with Taekwondo or Karate guy and against like Usman guy, you know, being a wrestler. I mean, he was professional wrestler before. And Whitaker also saying that he is going to be the aggressor in the fight. He said the same way that he fought his last fight, which is interesting because I never thought that Whitaker would be the aggressor or at least try to be aggressive against Hamza. I think no matter how aggressive Whitaker gets, He's never going to be as aggressive as Hamzad is. Hamzad's pressure is second to none. But at the same time, this may be the best anti-wrestler, anti-grappler that Hamza has ever faced and the best striker he's ever fought. And also, Whitaker is bigger than Burns and Usman. He walks around like 215 pounds. Some of his training partners say he walks even heavier than that, which is crazy for a former welterweight. But there's a reason he went up to the middleweight division. And Hamza is a little bit bigger than Robert Whitaker, but the resistance against the wrestling from a fighter is going to be around the same weight as Hamza, while also being extremely explosive, high-level defensive wrestling skills, and defensive grappling skills on the ground, primarily fighting from a distance, and having better striking than any other fighter Hamza has fought, who's gone five rounds many, many times. This is like the main reason as to why I do think Whitaker wins the fight, but if Hamza can push a crazy pace for five rounds, I don't think there's anybody that can beat him. Right, The main reason fighters can beat Hamza is because we've seen him gas out before. It's the cardio. And if he's gotten better cardio now, can go five rounds, there's no one beating Hamza, I think. But we haven't seen him actually go five rounds yet. I've been pushing from first second to last second on my sparring, but I don't think so. It would be different in the cage here as well. So, but I didn't say anything about my health before Usman fight. Oh, everyone thinks about Hamza went in the cage healthy, so no, it wasn't that. I was sick on the morning before the fight, so I don't find the excuse, like, don't cry, like, I had the short, short noses, like Usman, that, nah, I'm jumping in also in short noses when my fight, you know. Yeah, we're fighters. We do not, don't need to find some excuse. If I lose, lose, we um, Fight him, yeah. Just shut up and go home. I did not know Hamza was sick the day of the Usman fight. If he has five round cardio against Robert Whitaker, he's probably going to win the fight. But I'm still going to go with Whitaker. I guess, you know, he was sick against Usman, but I've never seen Hamza go five rounds or even three rounds at a very good pace, right? Robert Whitaker can do that. So I am still picking Whitaker to win the fight, but if I could, I would change that 72%. I am not as confident in Whitaker winning if Hamza has five round cardio and has a much better mentality for fighting. Okay, I might be wrong on the 72% chance of Robert Whitaker winning the fight. Hamza Shemaev seems like a different kind of fighter. Not completely, but he's way calmer. He's way more mature and more focused than I've ever seen him. That's not to say he was never focused before, but there's like a different kind of aura around him leading up to this fight. And I like this version of Hamza. Seems like he's more intelligent on his training camp than ever before. He even said before when he was trying to make the weight cut, he was cutting eight kilograms of weight in a single day. That's a lot of weight to cut in one day, man. He has changed his training camp, brought in new coaches like Coach Salim Natsalkanov, who is an amazing wrestling coach, a much 
much more scientific training camp, I guess you would say. There's a lot more variables that he brought into his training camp now. And he's saying it's the best training camp he's ever had in his entire career. And I can imagine his new coaches are not going to have him overtrain like he did last time. It seems like there may have been a big reason as to why he was getting sick before. He was just training way too hard. And the coaches need to be there to draw them back a bit and focus on rest and recovery. Very important for an athlete in any sport to focus on the recovery with the same importance that they focus on training. Hamza has a much more methodical training camp with great coaches and great teammates. But it does seem like the majority of his training camp is revolved around making him better at what he's already good at, right? So that unstoppable wrestling force that he has, make it even stronger, make it even better, right? Bringing in Coach Salim into the training camp. There's three main reasons he's bringing a guy like that into his training camp. Number one, the experience of running a training camp or adding any kind of knowledge and wisdom that he has, right? That's number one, which is very important. So there's any question that Hamza has for Coach Salim, he's going to have a lot of wisdom for Hamza. Number two, make Hamza a better wrestler in this fight than he's ever been before. So that strong wrestling is going to be even stronger. And number three, give a new perspective on different ways he can use his wrestling in the context of MMA. Because Coach Salim is mostly a wrestling coach. But with the knowledge that he has in wrestling, combined with Hamza and his coach's knowledge in MMA, they can mix something really special together for this fight against Robert Whitaker. And Whitaker did say that he doesn't really think about Hamza Shemaev. It's the guy he needs to beat to get a title shot. But Whitaker has said this before in another interview. He doesn't think about his opponents mostly. He leaves that to his coaches. Actually, a lot of fighters do that. A lot of fighters actually don't think about the opponent as much as the coach does. They leave it for the coach to come up with a game plan, to have the reins on the entire training camp and what they need to drill against this specific style and all that sort of stuff. The fighter goes out there in the octagon and they just perform on what they drilled in the training camp. So, so that's what Robert Whitaker does when he says that he doesn't think about Hamza Shemaev. It can come off like as a red flag for a fighter to say that, but it's not really. A lot of fighters do the same thing, right? Robbie Lawler was the same way as Whitaker. Now, I did see some people say that there could be a red flag in the way that Hamza is approaching this fight. Much calmer, much more mature. It doesn't seem to have that same kind of fire, right? That same kind of tenacity that he used to have. He's probably still going to fight that way, which is the most important thing. You know, he doesn't need to scream on the mic and go crazy backstage and all that stuff. I still think he's going to fight in the same kind of pressuring, aggressive wrestling style. But the other argument that I see is that this change of demeanor from Hamza doesn't suit his style well, right? He might come out there way too composed and allow Whitaker to be more effective earlier on in the fight. Hamza's pressure style also requires him to be the same way leading into the fight with his demeanor. It may be. As Max Holloway says, we'll have to see in the fight. I think Hamza is still going to fight the exact way that he needs to to beat Robert Whitaker. And we'll see if this change in his training camp also changes his fighting style as well. If he's much more composed, that is fighting Robert Whitaker's game. Whitaker is more of the composed, patient fighter looking for blitzing openings in the striking. Whereas Hamza likes to just constantly move forward with both his striking and wrestling as a mixed martial artist, right? And that's exactly what he was talking about when one of the journalists asked him about wrestling, right? Robert Whitaker fought Yoel Romero. He fought Jacques Ray Souza, one of the best wrestlers and one of the best grapplers we've ever seen in the sport. And Hamza said, those guys are great in their sports, right? Romero's good in wrestling. Jacques Ray's good in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's different in MMA, which is very, very true. I mentioned the same thing in the prediction video. Rob has faced high-level wrestlers in the past like Joel Romero, and he's faced high-level grapplers like Jacques Ray. I'm curious how... How do you think you are different from those two guys when you step in there with Rob? They are not MMA wrestlers. MMA is different, you know. So you can be an Olympic champion, but if you give an Olympic champion a million MMA wrestling, I could beat him easy. So this is different, you know. So I'm not uh, just wrestler. Uh, people thinking about, like, I'm not just freestyle wrestler, no. MMA wrestler is different. Yes, Whitaker did fight some of the best grapplers we've ever seen in the sport, but they're not as good as Hamza, right? Hamza brings those together into MMA much better than Romero and Jacques Ray did as he mixes in wrestling and submission ability, good top pressure, good transitions, and all of that stuff. He's a well-rounded grappler, whereas those two really weren't as much. Jacques Ray had decent takedowns, but he was a lot better when the fight was on the ground, right? Much better with his submissions there. Romero was good with his takedowns. He had decent top control, but he fought like a wrestler with ground and pound once he went to the ground. Hamza is good at all of that stuff. So that's why he's the best overall grappler that Whitaker has ever fought in his entire career. But still, Whitaker did fight those guys. We cannot overlook that. Whitaker did fight Romero, and he did fight Jacques Ray. 
And when it came to the grappling against both of those guys, he did very well. And technically speaking, he's probably even better since those fights. Now we can look at the Drickus Duplessis fight. He got taken down at the end of the first round, which is not great. He got tripped from the clinch. And honestly, I think Whitaker was a bit off. He did talk about it as well. Just like how Hamza said he was sick in the Usman fight. Whitaker said that he fell off in the Drickus fight, which it really did look like he wasn't fighting the same way. Outside of the jab, right? The southpaw jab from Drickus, I think that would have caught Whitaker regardless because it worked against him with Jarek Hennanier. It's a stylistic collision that it's hard for Whitaker to beat there. But everything else, it did look like Whitaker was a bit off. And sometimes fighters have those kind of days, right? Sometimes they're, they don't feel good. They're sick. They're injured, whatever it is, you know? So it seems like both Hamza and Whitaker were not at their best when they fought Usman and Drickus. Because looking at Whitaker's fights with Romero and Jacare, those guys were barely able to get him to the ground and even hold him down when they did. And nothing was the same when he fought Drickus. Like there was no even like explosion to get up from the bottom like he showed against Jacare. Look at those scrambles in the Jacare fight. There was none of that when he fought Drickus. And also fighting Drickus also throws you off your game. Whether you're out of Sonya, whether you're Robert Whitaker, it's just the way the guy fights. It's hard to fight composed when you're fighting Drickus Duplessis. It's very difficult. I cannot wait for this fight. It's going to be very exciting. And respect to both fighters. I hope they both do well. I'm really liking the way Hamza is approaching the fight. Again, I think Whitaker is going to win the fight. I'm not confident in him winning anymore, but the five rounder, he did gas out before in the Burns and Usman fights. Even though he was sick against Usman, it's understandable, but still, it's hard to just say, oh yeah, he could just definitely go five rounds now after we've watched every single one of his fights. Even if he was sick in the Usman fight, it's very, very difficult to fight five rounds like that. The pace that he fights at is absolutely ridiculous. It's almost impossible to fight five rounds like that for anybody. The only two fighters I've seen fight like that are Colby Covington and Marab Davalashvili. I've never seen another fighter fight at a crazy pace like that before for five rounds. And Hamza also has power, whereas Marab and Colby don't. They're not as explosive or as, as strong or as powerful as Hamza is. Hamza is very powerful for his weight classes. And usually fighters who have that kind of fast twitch, they have the punching power and wrestling strength, they usually don't have crazy cardio to go with it, right? Usually it's one or the other. Either you're very powerful, strong, but you don't have the crazy cardio, or you have crazy cardio, but you don't have as much punching power. So that's going to be a great fight. And and, and Hamza might show a 2.0 version of himself, the next level. And if he runs through Whitaker, he will become the champion. No one's going to beat him. If Whitaker beats Hamza, though, it'd be awesome to see Whitaker get that belt back because I think he could beat Drakus and Strickland.